What's going on Pisces? How are you doing? Hope you're doing super well. This is the Autistic Mystic and this is going to be a reading for April 10th to the 16th, 2023. So in this reading Pisces, we're going to take a look at your overall general energy, some things you do not see coming. Also get some advice from your angels and spirit guides and so much more for you Pisces for this week. But before we begin this reading, as always, I do want to take a moment to let you know that you are very welcome here in this space with me as we go through this reading, and I really do appreciate you in advance, Pisces, for taking the time to check this reading out. Now, if this general reading happens to resonate with you, Pisces, definitely smash that like button, subscribe down below if you have not already for future updates. I would also really appreciate that, Pisces. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this reading, pull the energy, see what wants to come through for you, Pisces. As always, I would like to thank the angels, the interdimensional beings, and the spirit guides who are overseeing this act of divination for the sign of Pisces. Too many Pisces, it's half the deck. We're not taking half the deck, hold on. That we can take. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One more. See what we got here for you, Pisces. I like this. I like this for you. I really do. All right, Pisces, let's go ahead and start this reading off with some pre-shuffled oracle cards for you, though. Messages from the universe. The first energy you have for this week is Lady Venus. Downloads and understanding. Truth is being revealed. Deep insights are coming from heaven and the astral realm. There really is something this week for you, Pisces, about like the universe is almost like honoring your ability to hold space for synchronicity, and it's going to give you more and more and more to the point of where you're almost confused. There's a very interesting download coming through that I'm talking about. You receiving downloads and understanding from the universe, Pisces, but almost some of you may feel slightly confused by the synchronicities and the way that you personally communicate with subtle energy this week because the universe is giving you more to see what you can handle. Um, when it comes to very esoteric or uh, things that happen to physical humans when it relates to spiritual and subtle energy, many times the rate at which you can remember certain things happening is the rate at which the universe will give you more things to remember. So some of you, um, whether mostly in your dream time, but for some of you in your physical life, you've literally had communications with extraterrestrials, but because it's so intense, your, um, your mind blocks it out because you can't handle it. It happens all the time. People don't even know this. But then if you can remember that, the universe or the extraterrestrials will say, ah, okay, they actually remembered that. They didn't block it out because of the fear and they're still too much of a human reptilian. No, wow, they're, they're remembering this. Let's give them more. In your own way, it's happening more, but it's leading to confusion. But also there's something about grounding this. So for some of you Pisces out there, uh, some of you are smoking a joint listening to your favorite song and you get a million dollar, like I can literally see you like, walking in the forest or on the coastline. You get a million dollar idea through a download, the same downloads that the Germans used to create massive weapons of destruction that created social control for the Brits that uh, everyone uses and they don't know it, but you're miss for some of you, you're missing a brilliant idea and you're just disregarding it and you're saying like, that's pretty cool. 
Like, picture the... Re <laughs> Picture the parallel reality version of me that, okay, the idea for the autistic mystic came to me. Moment of r realization. Imagine I was just like, yeah, autistic mystic, that's cool, but you know, you know what's cooler is, uh, is, uh, anything, like this shirt, and then I would be in a parallel reality where my whole life is different than it is now. That's something that's going on for you. How are we only still on one of these? I don't know. Or actually, I do know, and of course, it's synchronistic. It's because of Sir Nuno's life force. Express your driving passion, sensual and sexual powers are increased at this time. All right, Pisces, so make sure that you're getting a hold on that. I don't know about you, but even like I'm recording this on the 10th, and for me, it's been a real challenge to like, I mean, this, this, the amount of life force energy that has been flowing through me has been, I'm like, when is this going to stop? And then it just keeps regenerating. And I'm like, oh my, like I've had so, so make sure you take advantage of that. There seems to be something going on with that. A lot of sexual energy, what you do with that you is up to you because there is something about a maturity within a relationship and you and someone Pisces, um, someone for the male Pisces out there, there's some special lady in your life that finally starts to look at you as like not like a beta male provider but like like they start to look at you as like daddy like whoa like in a good way like uh i respect you i honor you um something about they truly respect you you know and um and even if you're for the ladies out there there's something very powerful happening when maturity in relationships you also have Katumi Cloak of Wisdom. You already know the answer that you seek and trust what you know. And, you know, it's funny because I wore this golden shirt. I love gold. You see the golden thing behind me. And, and Katumi has that very golden aura, right? He is a um, very powerful Indian man here. Or, you know, should I say ascended master. So, wear a Cloak of Wisdom. Let that mystery guide you. But let's go ahead, Pisces, because it seems like you have more mysteries to uncover because with your opportunity, you have the Seven of Cups. So sorting through illusion. Um, for many of you, it has to do with this downloads and understanding card as your opportunity. What downloads are illusionary and I should disregard? And what downloads are life-changing? Like the autistic mystic came to the autistic mystic when he was walking in the forest. Should I keep it? Oh my God, million dollar idea. Or should I let it go? That's kind of what you're dealing with here. For some of you, this has to do with also your sexual energy. How do I channel this properly and for some of you this has to do with the relationship that you're in now because it's just a lot it's just good uh, by the way great energy i did a reading for cancer it was like what is this jerry springer nightmare i did a reading for scorpio very good and then i did it for reading for you right now very good as well so i don't really see you running into any new unexpected problems things are going to go as usual this week there's no tower moments coming as the energy stands right now it's going to be good for you this week pisces so get used to it kind of because you have the queen of wands as your challenge all right so could be dealing with a fire sign that you're uh a woman fire sign that's getting on your nerves challenging in some sort of way for others of you this has to do with your own ability to uh, channel sexual energy in a productive way. You also have that black cat on the Queen of Wands, which means some of you may be struggling with issues of, I care what this person thinks about me, especially as it relates to a new career endeavor. Some of you want to put yourself out there and uh, there could be fear of, well, what will people think of me if I do this? But when it comes to your overall general energy, I mean, you're golden here, Pisces. You really are. Um, you... Yeah, there's something about real stability. You have, and, and it's stability that is karma, like good karma coming your way around relationships and money. You have the King of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, and also the Justice card here. Some of you have been have been feeling like a little bit ungrounded over the last year, even the last few months or weeks. I feel like for a lot of you, you could have found your home. Like you could be somewhere where you really feel like this is my home now. Not for all of you, but for some of you, there's that. But for a lot of you, I, I'm sorry, the King of Pentacles, Two of Cups Justice card. There's, you could be really happy with someone, the way that you share resources. This could also be in your work, like great coworkers and great things around the legal system. You're just 
even the Matrix is honoring you this week, Pisces. That's what I got for you. Not only are the angels and everyone giving you downloads and the extraterrestrials trying to see do you remember that or were you too stoned? And But the Matrix is even like, well, well you're a validated citizen now, so congratulations. Um, and part of that's because of what's going on in the sky, so it's not really... But anyway, when it comes to uh, what you don't see coming, you have the Ace of Pentacles upright, the Strength card, and also the Eight of Wands. So there's something here about, you know, having to do that with Sir Nunos energy, blending your sexual and kind of higher self in order to create something in the physical with that Ace of Pentacles, great time to start something new in the physical. This is also improving health, by the way. For some of you are going to have a rapid improvement in your own health physical health, emotional health, but mainly physical health. I'm not a doctor, I can't give any medical advice, but what I would say is you can expect some sort of, um, you can expect some sort of, some sort of thing to go well with your health and you to feel like, wow, like I really am tough, like I really went through that, I'm really strong. Like So there's something about increasing your own resilience and what you don't see coming, there could be something about you being like, why was I so worried about that? Or because you have Sir Nunos so that you have more life force energy going through you. But then when it comes to your advice from your spirit guides, you have the Four of Pentacles, the, um, the you have Four of Pentacles, the Lovers, and also the Knight of Wands. So take a calculated risk on something that you love here, Pisces, is what I'm getting. Calculated risk about love. Now for others of you, um, you got something really good in love and you're gonna want to stray because you're not used to it, okay? You have the Lovers and the Four of Pentacles. For a lot of you, you finally have stability around love, or if it's not exactly what you want, it's a situation shit, but someone really respects you, someone around love, someone ar around you in love is like, damn, like Pisces is the man, or Pisces is the woman, or Pisces is the goddess, Pisces is the god, like someone really has a, like someone really appreciates you for multiple areas of your life, and for a lot of you, it's financially related, even if you're not like, super wealthy it's just you do something for this person where they're like yeah but because now you're getting something to do with improving health and what you don't see coming and you have Sir Nunos you might just be I mean having sex with your partner getting a download from spirit and being like did you know that I was going to be this amazing and they're like no but it's great yes but then because you're not used to that going so well for you, there may be this feeling of, oh, well, now i got to get out of here because I'm not used to this. So please just watch your, um, please watch your feeling to stray. Because sometimes, you know, people think we're afraid of success. People think you're afraid of failure. You're really afraid of success, Pisces, because you're not used to it. What you really need to do is just level, let it into your comfort zone. I've seen it happen so many times. So in this reading, I do think it's relevant for me to bring this up. If something is really yours, if something is uh, going to stick around on a vibrational level, you have to view it as standard, ordinary, normal. So, like, do you know how many times, Pisces, like, I've been on, or I wish this was actually more, I wish this was more times than it really is, but there's been a few times <laughs> that I've been, like, with a, on a date or with someone in love and like I'm like freaking out on the inside but I'm like playing it cool I'm like this is normal this is what you deserve this is normal this is ordinary but deep inside I'm like oh my god I, I don't know this is amazing I don't know what to do with this this is so good but because when you have that energy you create an energetic distortion whereas someone else can come in let's just say it's love for example someone else who views the person you're with as normal like they don't put them on some sort of pedestal, it will be more natural for them to be with them. And so then you can have all these problems or if this has to do with work to make it natural Pisces. But, um, you know what Pisces, I really feel like I didn't clarify any of the cards here, but I honestly feel like I said what I had to say. I don't think I need to go into deep because I'm not, there is no tower coming this week. There is no anything. There's really good energy. This is first world problems. And because it's first world problems, we're good. So with that being said, have a great week, Pisces. I'll talk to you next time.